y'all so today I have a tutorial right here what's going on on my face I started all the way from the beginning in this tutorial put my foundation and everything on because if you watch my last video you know that I did a pretty big haul I did a haul you guys a haul and I had this idea of if you guys follow me then you know that like when I do hauls I'm not somebody to like come home from a shopping spree and be like look at all the shit I got and then just like not even tell you anything about it like I personally like to use this stuff and put it on my face and try it out and do things with it and then I come back and tell you but I got a lot of stuff this time so I didn't want anything getting lost in my collection you know what I mean so I was like let me just do a tutorial because I came up with this look because I've had a lot of matcha today just saying just putting that out there so I came up with this look like a couple of days ago I was messing around with my makeup some of my new products and I went on snapchat like this is my makeup today and so many of you guys like more than I think I've ever gotten requested or complimented this in particular look I did not have lashes on I put these lashes on I don't even fucking like these lashes you'll see in the haul I talked about it in the haul um if you haven't seen the haul I will link it down below you should totally watch that because then you could see like what products I'm using are new know what I mean so if you guys want to know how I got this look right here and you want to see some of the products in action for my haul then let's go on and like beat our face and stuff let's do it here we go okay let's do this here we go so I've already primed my face because earlier I started filming this and my son came upstairs and he was like can you make me something for lunch and I'm like oh, I guess I can even though I already thrown in so I had to do that. So I primed my face with the City Color Collection Primer Spray. This stuff is so good. It's so good, you guys. I did not expect it to be good. I got mine at TJ Maxx, but you can get it on the website. For foundation, I'm going to use YSL Touche Clot, which was also in my haul. This was in my haul. That was in my haul. I have it on here because, like I said, I'm going to write it on My son fucked it up. Okay, so I'm going to put this. Oh, yeah, and I put my Makeup Forever uh, mattifying here, here, here and on my laugh lines to see oh you know what I want to do actually hold on so I was watching Sam from Battle Lashes uh, snapchat the other day and she put the NYX glitter primer in her laugh lines and said it worked for like you know your foundation settling in there and I did it and it did so I'm gonna do that real quick okay moving on so this I actually did mix a little bit of my MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing I got the color BD10 uh, as y'all saw it is a hair too light on me right now shocker shocker I know but I'm actually off-white thank you to the rays of the Sun because I have actually been in the Sun which is not normal for me I usually stay as far away from the Sun as possible but I am no self tan not self tanned and I have some sun on my skin I usually get about off-white during the summer so that's what's going on now just gonna blend that out with my real techniques what is this sculpting brush this is supposed to be a sculpting brush but we're gonna use it as a foundation brush look how white my face is compared to my shoulders it's really not as white as it looks on camera I promise there's just like a ring light like two feet in front of me that's why it looks so light so I'm gonna grab my beauty blender and just kind of blend that the rest of the way out <laughs> For concealer, I'm going to use my Kat Von D. Kat Von D, I am in the shade L9 Neutral right now. This was the lightest shade that they had, like I had mentioned in the haul. Um, I want to try to get the white one and, like, maybe lighter than this. I'm not sure. I haven't looked online to see if, like, this is the light one, but I'm assuming L9 is not the light one. So, we're just going to go ahead and put this on blend it out. That's what we do here. I'm just going to blend it out with my Beauty Blender. I want to spray my beauty blender with some of this primer spray because I'm sitting here fucking around for like a half an hour and it's like pretty much dry. <laughs> and then I'm also going to put that over my eyelids and use it as a primer for our channels. I'm going to go ahead and set my concealer. If you guys watched my how to highlight textured skin video, this is not Bare Minerals Mineral Veil BT Dubs. It is um, my cocaine powder. If you watched, you know, was it that video or the video before that my mom put it in a baggie it looked like cocaine and got it in and pulled over <laughs> anyways I'm just going to set right here a little bit on my forehead a little bit a little bit on the chin just where I get oily at just where I get oily at then we're gonna go in with highlighter 
Um, I don't have any new highlighters, so I'm just going to use my Bobbi Brown one. I think, I don't think I have any new highlighters, do I? I lied. I have my Cover FX drops, so I'm going to use my Cover FX drops in Celestial on the tippy tops of my cheeks before I powder the rest of my face. And then I'm just going to blend that in with my beauty blender. It doesn't work with a beauty blender, you guys. See how it leaves stripes? You got to use your finger. I forgot about that. I see a lot of people saying like, oh, I can't get these to blend, but you like literally have to use your finger. And then just because I don't like to put this on my nose, because I feel like it takes foundation off my nose. Not anywhere else, just my nose. I don't know why it does that. So I'm going to go in with my Bobbi Brown uh, Pink Glow Highlighter and then this Real Techniques fan brush that I just got. We'll see how this works. Yeah, I guess it works okay. I guess it works okay. I want to know. Put it on my nears. Mm hmm mm hmm Okay, I can fucks with this. I can fucks with this little fan brush. All right. And then Real Techniques powder brush, brand new one. If you guys saw my haul, you know why I need to get a new one. If you didn't see my haul, you better go watch my haul because it tells you why I need to get a new one of these. It's a pretty funny story. Just saying. So selfie powder. Ooh, lots of dust. Let's see how this works. When I swatched it in the store, it kind of acted like an MSF on the swatch. So let's hope that it is like that. Words, words today. Just me words, girl. Just did not go hand in hand today. I feel like this is different. This feels different than my old brush. Maybe it was just because my old brush was capable product. <laughs> That could be why. <laughs> but it feels like it's, it almost feels like the bristles are like cheaper or something. That's really weird. Do you guys notice that once they came out with this like new little design or whatever? Okay. I do like that powder. I can fuck with that powder. I do like it. I like it. All right. Moving right along. Moving right along. Next thing I'm going to do is my bronzer. I am just going to bronze the face. I'm not going to like crazy ass cut a bitch contour I've just been liking to bronze for the summertime so this is pure minerals bronzer I talked about my favorites last month I think I talked about it in another video maybe maybe the highlighting video maybe one of those you guys know I'm not gonna remember if I so I'm just not so I'm just gonna take that in bronze For blush, I'm going to use this little Becca Afterglow thinger my thing because I don't have any new blushes. And I'm going to go into the color Wild Honey. And that's what we're going to use. This is like a really pretty like bronzy colored blush. Maybe I had some left over because that doesn't look bronzy. And then because I went a little ham with my blush and my bronzer, I'm going to take my stippling brush and blend everything together. All right, now I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows off camera because I use the same shit every day and I do the same thing every day, so who cares? So I will be back. Okay, brows are on, brows are done. I'm an idiot because I totally forgot about this. So I'm just going to go for what I already got on. Fuck it, why not? Why not do that? Why not? So I'm going to go into the color Sunburst and just tippy top it. Just tippy top it with it. Why not? Who cares, right? It's all, it's all fun. It's all fun. My face, I do what I want. Am I right, ladies? We lost a little bit of a little bit of glow blending things anyways. Oh yes. Hello. Hello. I'm gonna get like one of those people, you guys. I'm gonna get like Nikki Tutorials, Jeffree Star, where it's just too much. It's just a little bit too much. And then you're like, whoa, Jesus Christ, I need sunglasses to see you, bitch. Tone it down. Next up is ice. I'm gonna use my modern Renaissance palette again. I know I use this in my last get ready with me tutorial type thing, but I really like it. So that's why I'm going to use it. And I use it for this look. So that's what's up. All right. So I'm going to take golden or, 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 or too much watch powder today, you guys. Just too fucking much. I can't even talk. My words cannot fabricate sentences. And we're just going with it. Okay. Golden ochre in the crease, just like this. Then I'm going to go, I'm basically using the same colors I did in my last tutorial, I think, kind of. <laughs> you guys don't care, right? Am I right? I know a lot of you guys got this. Then I'm going to go into Real Gar. Is that what I did? No, I'm going to go into Burnt Orange and do, we're doing a Halo Eye again today, kids. 
doing a halo eye again today. I'm going to give it up again today. Today, today. Why am I such an idiot? It's not going to be as extreme as the last one. This is going to be like just a really subtle halo type of effect. I'm not going to go like up into the brow like I did last time. Then I'm going to grab my MAC 217 and go into Real Gar. I don't know if it's Real Gar or Real Gar. I just found out the other day that these are like Renaissance painters, apparently. I had no clue. Did you guys? I just fucking make up. It's, it's a color and I put it on. You know what I mean? I don't really look into it. So, Real Gar, Real Gar, whatever you call it. That's going to go on the inner and outer corner. I'll swell. My eyes are going to start watering, you guys. It's going to be a disaster. I can already feel it coming on. Then I'm going to grab my Morphe 441 that had burnt orange on it and blend those out. Just blend the edges out a little. I know this is looking a lot like my other one, but I promise you guys, like those of you that haven't seen it on Snapchat, it's not, okay? It's not. Now, I'm going to take the same brush that had Real Gar on it and go into Red Ochre and Venetian Red and kind of mix those two together. And then do basically the same thing we did with Real Gar, Real Gar, whatever the fuck you want to call that name. So I'm just going to place that color, pick more up, pick more up, place it. And I'm doing really tight like motions because I'm going to blend it out with another brush. Pick the color up, pick the color up, place it on the inner. Kind of wish I would have done my concealer afterwards, right? Don't let me fall out going on. And then I'm just going to grab a clean 217 and start blending the edges out. I used a lot of shadows for this look out of this palette, BT Dubs, because I was just sitting here like fucking around one day. And I just kept putting stuff on and putting stuff on. So whilst recreating it, you will notice that. Okay, now I'm going to take another 217, a clean one, and go into Love Letter, which is like this fuchsia color, and add some of that fuchsia in there. And we'll blend it out. Don't worry, it'll get blended. I just want it to like fade, 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 and then be darker right on that spot there. And it will. Is this a 217? This is the Morphe 433. I mean, doesn't matter. They're both like basically the same branch. I need to get some new brushes, you guys. I want to get some new brushes and get rid of my old ones. Inner corner as well. Grab my clean 217. Blend the edges out. I can blend that a little bit in there. There's another color going over that, so it doesn't really matter right now. Blend, 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 blend. Or if you guys can hear my dogs, they're up here. They're probably pissed and like want to go out or something, but they're going to have to wait. Now I'm going to grab my Moon Dust palette and go into the color element just on my little, my little baby finger right here. It's not really a baby finger. It's just finger. And we're going to stick that right there in the middle from bottom to top. And I'm just going to use my finger to kind of blend it over all those other colors too. Then I'm just going to grab my Wet n Wild little blender brush and just kind of blend over the top of that just very, 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 very lightly. Just to kind of evenly distribute that uh, depthness out there. Let me put a little bit more. There we go. That's better. Now I'm going to grab the brush that had uh, whatever that, that pink color, that fuchsia color. <laughs> I don't remember what color it was. My hands are full to look. I'm just going to very lightly just kind of tap to blend the two of those together. Then on my finger again, I wiped it off. I'm going to go into Spectre and I'm going to stick that right in the tippy tippy centaur. Right in the centaur. Now on to the bottom lash line. For the bottom lash line, I'm going to grab Red Ochre on a Morphe 562. And I'm stick it right here on the outside corner. Right here on the inside corner. 
And then I'm gonna bring it around like this too to kind of color that inner corner up. And then I'm gonna grab Venetian Red and Love Letter, mix the two together, and just dust that over top of it. Just trying to replicate what we got going on upstairs, basically. And then I'm gonna grab a clean brush. Good luck finding one. What should I use? I'll just use this uh, MAC 2 and 7. It's not clean, but it's clean enough. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to blend that out. Now I'm going to grab my Moon Dust palette again and go into Element again. And stick that right on that center. And then I'm going to take Spectre. Same thing we did on top, girls. Stick it right on the tippy top, right on the tippy top. Now I'm going to take my NYX Treasure Lee in the color black. Ugh, the caps are so hard to get off of these. And I'm going to tight line. And then I'm going to take my liner and line the outside and the inside on the bottom. And then grab my Makeup Geek. What is this? Outer V brush. I use it more as a smudger brush, though. So and kind of smudge that down. Then I'm just gonna grab my brow brush real quick and try to blend the liner on my tight line kind of more into my lashes because I'm gonna put lashes on so that way it, it blends a little bit better. The lashes blend a little bit better, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna grab my brush and do a little, little something, something up there. Do I wanna put a brow highlight on? I don't think I do. So then I'm going to grab Moon Dust again and go into Spectre again, like the light pink one. And I'm going to stick that on my inner corner. I don't like that. I don't like that. Why do I have to be so stupid? That's just my personality. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes, put some mascara on, put some falsies on. If you're curious, I'm using the Ardell Wispies number 600. I hope to glob that they are like my 615s. I feel like they're a little bit shorter, but which I'll see in the end results when I put them on if they're just as good as the 615s because I've been to Walmart like four fucking times in the past two weeks and they're constantly sold out. It's driving me crazy. I might have to go to a big Walmart. The Walmart I go to is kind of a little, you guys don't care, okay. We're gonna put all this on. I will be right back. Okay, lashes are on. I don't think I've ever had so much trouble with a pair of fucking lashes before in my life. If you buy these like I did because you think, oh, those look just like the Salon Perfect 615s, which are my favorite lashes, don't get them. They are like stick fucking straight. I had to curl them like three or four times just to get the damn things to like even look decent. Anyways, no negativity here, no negative, not negative today. No girls. Okay, on to the lips. So I got one of the new, did I pull it out? One of the new NYX Plush Gel Lipsticks. These are so super cool. They kind of fill the lines on your lips. So I am gonna take the NYX Retractable, um, what is it called? It's a liner, NYX Retractable Liner in the color Nude. And line my lips and fill them in. Then I'm going to take my plush gel lipstick in the color Nude Beach and go over top. See how shiny they are? They're so nice. And then, because while I was gone putting latches on, while I was waiting for my latches to dry, I may or may not have had an acai popsicle, so my tongue's a little black and I lost my little Cupid's bow highlights so already never done where I go. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're a little flamboyant. So this is it. This is the final look. So if you guys want to see the haul where I kind of hauled all this stuff, then I will leave it down below and you can watch that before you watch this. And then you can come back and watch this. And then you can see them all in action. Matcha. And then you can see them all in action. And then what do you guys think about this format? Do you like it? Do you like how I do it? If you do, let me know in the comments and I will just do it like this all the time. What do you think? Should I do it like this all the time? Maybe I will do it like this all the time. Okay, that's it. Nothing else to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you are not. Follow me on all my social media here and I will catch you guys in the next one.